Well, <clears throat> was going to go outside, but it looks like it's about to rain here. So rather than being rained out, just have it inside by the fire tonight. So hope you are doing well. <clears throat> I'm having a good October evening. It's been a busy day up at the church. We had repairs in the kitchen, small ones, but repairs in the kitchen. Hey, Julia T. And working on our stewardship campaign and uh, got several other things happening at once. Recorded some radio commercials. Hey, Megan, lots of things happening. So a great day, a lot of people around and good things popping all over the place. Oh, and Chile. Chile as well. November 10th uh, is the... There's a downtown event in Frankfurt, and yeah, from 5 to 8, we'll be cooking and serving chili down at the church. So chili, chili dogs, Frito pies, things like that. So if you need some dinner, swing by. The chili will be excellent. Hey, Pauline. So that's November 10th again, and I'm sure you can pre-order as well. Well, I've got 6.30. Let's go ahead and get started. This is Evening Prayer Rite 1, so we are on page 63 of your Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And page 64, the Fos Hilleron. Hey, Rev. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Hey, Judith. Our psalm for this evening uh, is Psalm 1, which we had last evening as well. Hey, Kathy Kay. So we're on page 585 of your prayer book. We'll read Psalm 1. This is a saint week uh, for us. Often we have a saint during the week that we'll commemorate or talk about, but there were enough significant folks uh, to us that we have a saint uh, several nights this week. Last night it was James, the brother of Jesus. Tonight it's Tabitha, one of the early leaders of the church. Her story is in Acts chapter 9. Hey, Amy. Uh, and she and Martha kind of exemplified the doers in the church. We'll read about her in a little bit, but this day commemorates Tabitha. So we'll get to her in a moment. Uh, page 585, Psalm 1. Please read with me. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord. And they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. As I said, our scripture lesson for tonight comes from the ninth chapter of Acts. Again, this is uh, Tabitha, one of the early leaders in the church. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. And the note in my Bible says both mean gazelle. All right, so a lady whose name was gazelle. She was devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time, she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. Since Lida was near Joppa, 
disciples, who heard that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them, and when he arrived they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. And calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle is on page 52 of your prayer book. We'll be reading Canticle 6. Well, hopefully, Amy, that rain will push on eastward. I came in because it's supposed to start raining here shortly, but so far, not a thing. We could certainly use it. All right, page 52, Canticle 6, Glory be to God. Please read with me. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee. We give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory, O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now that is good news, Sue. So I hope we get some of that. All right. Often I've got a little piece to read about the saint of the day. I do not. There's nothing written up about Tabitha. I don't think anything else is known about her. We'll continue on with page 66 with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And on page 67, dear friends, the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 68, we'll pray suffrages B together. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat thee, O Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat thee, O Lord. That there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world, we entreat thee, O Lord that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of Tabitha and all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, give unto us the increase of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain that which thou dost promise, make us to love that which thou dost command, 
through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And if you would, turn with me to page 815, 815. There are two prayers that we'll pray there, prayers 3 and 4. Hey, Shannon. Page 815, prayers 3 and 4. When you get there, please pray with me. Please pray with me. O God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infects our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then prayer four. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love. So mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship thee, all nations obey thee, all tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions silently, aloud, or typed in the chat box. Amen. Amen. We have several folks that are recovering from surgery and other things. Please keep our church family in your prayers. Everybody's doing well so far as I know, but uh, let's keep everyone in your prayers. We'll end on page 72 with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. When you get back there, please join me. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto Thee, and hast promised through Thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in His name, Thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of Thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of Thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, I hope that you have a blessed evening. Um, let's see. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we have three opportunities for worship at the church. We've got 1 o'clock mid midday worship at the church, and then 6.30, evening prayer back here, and 8 o'clock. Compline back here as well. So hope you can join us. Thanks, friends.